what's the difference between what we teach and Christianity, right? Okay. Christianity is white supremacy. This is what it is. This is what you learned your whole life. You haven't learned the Bible. Not one of you learned the Bible. Although you have the Bible in your house, you never picked it up. You're only fooling yourself by pretending to say, I read the Bible, right? Because... The so-called white man taught the black woman how to be a man. This is how you drive the black man out of the house. But guess what else he taught you? He taught the black man how to be a woman. This is why he dressed effeminately and act effeminately. Right. Get me, get me up. Revelation 1 and 14 real fast. Bring it up. Okay, I'm going to wait. Revelation 1 and 14. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Bring up. His head and his hair. We're white like wool. His head and his hair was white like wool. Can somebody give me a different definition of the word wool? It's rough. Wool is rough. What did a so-called white man call your hair? Nappy. He called it nappy. He destroyed your self-esteem so much, black woman, that's why you perm your hair to look like his woman. Because right. he instilled self-hatred in you. Right. This, is, this is the first strike against this devil right here. Read. As white as snow. Why? Because Christ had fully white hair. Like this gentleman. Like this gentleman right here. Read. And his eyes were a flame of fire. Why? Because Christ drank wine. Read. And his feet and like... Your, your feet. Is your feet the same color as your face? No. What? Let me see somebody out here with green feet. Is there anybody out here with green feet? My feet are lighter than my skin complexion. Okay, let me ask you this. If your feet was to fill out a job application, what would it mark down? It wouldn't be proper. If it said African American, European, Chinese, Japanese, what, what, what box would your feet check? African American because you don't have white feet. Your feet's the same color as your face. That's right. Understand that. This is what the but this is how dumb the so-called white man dumbed you down. That's all of us. This is not just you, sister. That's all of our people because the Bible teach a black Jesus. Hold up, read. And his feet like in the fine brass. What color is brass? Brass is a derivative of brown. So this already brown in color, what? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Burn toast in a toaster, what color again? What color is Christ? Let's see what his descendant, I mean his um, forefather spoke about himself. What he looked like. Give me Solomon 1, the Song of Solomon 1 and 5. Bring it out. Bring it out. Song of Solomon 1 and 5. Solomon is an ancestor of Christ from the tribe of Judah. That's right. That's what tribe Christ comes from. Same tribe you African Americans come from. That's right. You got it? Song of Solomon 1 and 5. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Bring it up. I'm black. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What does Christianity teach you? He teach you that Jesus is white. Solomon's white. David's white. Ezekiel's white. Right. Right. Paul's white. Everybody in the Bible is white. That's what you've been taught. But you never questioned that. You question the black men that come out here and teach a pure understanding of the Bible. It has to be wrong because it didn't come from the white man. Read. I'm black. You are black. Read. But comely. Because we are descendants of these same men. He's saying I'm black and I'm beautiful. That's right. Christianity doesn't teach that. That's Christianity right. teaches you what? What? How did you get over here? Both. How did your people get over here? Both. He teaches you that you're a slave. But you don't realize from not reading the Bible how true that is. Right. That that very fact connects you to God. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Bring it up. Your enslavement is recorded in the Bible to let you know in these last days who you are That's and right. why you went into slavery in the first place because of your sins. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with shit. The word Egypt means house of bondage. He said that you were going back into slavery, but your mode of transportation is going to be very, very unique. Now, when you compare your life story with every other nation on this planet's life story, 
who was putting the slavery on slave ships. If the so-called white man and everybody else has these uh, stories, where's his records at? There is none. There is none. Because this Bible belongs to you and you alone. That's, That's right. right. By the way, where have I spoken to thee? So Moses said, just like I said it was going to happen, read. Thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your homeland no more again. Right. Where are you from, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native America? Where are you really from? Ain't hey, you're from Africa. You've been duped by the so-called white man. You know why? Because he wants you to be an African while he be the holy people of the Bible. Right. But guess what? Right. You share similarities with the Africans. You don't want to know what it is? Your skin color. That's it. Because the East Indian in India, they're very, very, very dark skin. That brother right there is very, very dark skin. There are East Indians that look like him, if not darker than him. Would they say that they're black like him? Why? Because they know who they are. We try to include everybody because we're all dark skinned. That's not how the Bible set up. The Bible explains 18 nations in the Bible. That's Which right. nation do you belong to? you got to understand these things. This is what it means to read the Bible. You have to study to show yourself approved. Right. Not gloss over it. Not open up the Bible and wherever the page flip, that's where I'm going to read. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. You are, you are a slave under your enemy. The white man is not your friend. Understand that. He is your oppressor. And he was put in that position of power to be over you because of your wickedness. Now we're going to get into some wickedness after this. Read. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. Slave women. Because for some odd reason, the black woman thinks she, has, she wasn't brought on a slave ship with us. They taught you the feminist movement to separate the black woman from the black man. Now you have your own struggle. We're here for women's liberation. When did we enslave you? We were always on equal footings. It wasn't until recently when this divide came about. Read. And no man shall buy you. Meaning no man is going to save you. How long is this captivity going to last? I, uh, 46. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 46. Bring it out. And they shall be upon thee. These curses. For a sign. These curses will be upon you for a sign. Just like that building over there. You know that it's the Smithfield building. You know what it is based off of the identifiable marks on it. These curses will be upon your people for a sign and for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. And it will be upon your descendants forever. That's how long forever is. But let me ask you this, sis. Everybody else out here. Because for some odd reason, they think we're reading a different book. So they'll ask you, what are you reading? Is that the King James Version? That just lets you know that you're not reading the Bible. Where I tell you to go? Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22. Verse 5. This is all on um, cross-dressing. This is the reason why men must have beards. Because it separates men from women. That's right. There's a dress code that the Most High put in play. Black woman, you were given them pants by the so-called white man in the 50s. That's right. You didn't right. wear that prior to this. Understand that. He turned you gay on purpose. Right. Right. Read. The woman shall not wear that was pertaining. Stop. 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 You got a son? You got a son? You got a son? Anybody yes. got a son? son? Your son. How old is he? 13. 13. Have a dress on. How would you feel? I wouldn't know how to feel. No, I, I, was I would be shocked. You would be shocked. Would you agree with it? Him kissing another little boy in the mouth. Would you agree with it? Except if you have a girlfriend at home, then you might agree with it. Or when we're caught in the midst of sin, we don't like to be caught out in the open and being identified as somebody wicked. So we agree with everybody else's sin. See, but that's the glory of God. When we come to the realization that we must keep the commandments, our job is to go out there and tell our people their wickedness so we can get out of this hell hole. That's, that's right. right. Read Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Check it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So this applies to you black and Latino women. Understand that. You are dressed out of order. You're dressed masculinely. That's against the Bible. That's sin. Because who knows what sin is? Raise your hand if you have the definition of sin. The older ladies. 
What is sin? Sin is the transgression of God's law. Say it again. The elder lady says sin is the transgression of God's law. How hard is it for you to take those pants off, sister? So, this is how we explain to our people that you really hate God's guts. You pretend that you love God, like the brother, like the soldier brought out. He showed you how you give God lip service, and that's it. You hate God's guts. Read. Come on. For all that do so. Read it over again from the top. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Read it up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Like that brother right there with the white Jesus on his shirt. This is the reason why y'all went into slavery in the first place. Well, why you ain't got a picture of yourself on your shirt? That's how stupid our people are. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a woman is not supposed to dress like a man, and a man is not supposed to dress like a woman. Because this is contrary to God's law. We're not worried about any other nation who dress like men. That's for you. It's okay. Because the Bible was given only to a specific people. So you're the only ones who are in sin. You're the only ones who are in wickedness. You got a question? I have a question. Um, if, if God is only about specific people, why does he call us to go into all nations and love all people? Because everybody matters to Jesus. Let me ask you this. Who's your father? Yes. Who's my father? God's my father. No, let's, let's be honest. My earthly father? Who's your father? I, I don't know my earthly father. You don't know your earthly father. father. Who was your mother? Samantha Berkman. She, what's her nation, nationality? I'm Jamaican and white. You're, who's white? Which one's white? My mom. Your mom's white? According to the scriptures, you make up the tribe of Benjamin. Let's find out what love is according to the Bible. First John. Five. First John. Because what does God say about love? He says he is love and first Let's third. find out. First John chapter 5 verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. Understand this. Read. That we keep his commandments. So the only way we, that we show love is by keeping his commandments. Oh, right. Right. And his commandments are not grievous. So when we said, is it not hard for the sister to take off pants? It's really easy. It's not that hard to take pants off. It's not that hard to honor the Sabbath day. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let's find out what God says about separating of the races because she said that God loves everybody. Let's find out. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For, no, for thou art a holy people. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are a holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord that that God has chosen thee. To and you're a chosen people, read. To be a special people unto yourself. Whoa, wait now, watch this. Read. Above where? All people. Above all people, read. That are upon the face of the earth. So this That's is right. how God spreads his love throughout all the nations. Wherever you're scattered at, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, God shows you love there. The reason why you got there. It's because of your wickedness. How did your people get to this land? You want to mimic Becky and look like Becky and talk like Becky. Understand, you are one of the seed of the chosen people. That's right. You belong here with us. That's, That's right. right. Because you know deep down that you're not liked when it's said and done. Because think about it. Let's, 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 let's say some horrific thing happens in the news, like a black man getting shot down. How do you feel when that happens? It upsets me. How do you think they feel? The black That's why they argue with you on all the talk shows. Black lives don't matter no more than anybody else's life. Good. How many times you said that in secret? Becky. I, I think that everybody's life Stop thinking same. and let the Bible do your thinking, okay? Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Bring it up! Deuteronomy 28. Let, 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 let your uh, fake friends pull you, you away. What part Deuteronomy, of this I know is everything love? about them. I'll show you. What Chapter part of this 28. Is love, sir? Verse 68. This is how much they love you. Come on, brother. <laughs> and the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again with shit. We already was in slavery That's before. But God said, you're going to go back into slavery again, read. By the way, where have I spoken to thee? Thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your homeland no more again. But ask Becky and her friends where are their ancestors from. Where are you from? Samantha, what's your name? I don't even where are you from? I don't 
don't Where are you from? Where are you from? It the, the, matter, point, the reason why matter, they're doing it, so America. the points don't be proven. They know where their forefathers are from, whether they're Irish, whether they're German, whether they're Polish. They even know their biblical name. You want to know what their biblical name is? Esau. Give me that Genesis 25 and 21. You got to understand something. You've been taught wrong the same way we've been taught wrong. We've been taught wrong our whole life. This is not to bash you. This is because you are our sister. And if we have to use you as a springboard to teach the rest of our sisters, we're going to do that. But if we have to use you to be a springboard to teach the rest of our brothers, we're going to do that. What the hell are you crying about? What the hell? What did they cry when they brought you on slave ships? Right. Come on, read Genesis chapter 25, verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Okay, Rebecca, our foremother, she was barren at one time. She prayed to the Most High, and God granted her wish to have a child. Read. And the children struggled together within her. Oh, listen up to this. No side conversations for our people. Our people should be in tu tuned in to this program. Right? That's right. 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 Read that again. Come on. And the children struggle together within her. What's another name for struggle? What's another word for struggle? What's another word for struggle? Strive. Strive. What's another word? Fight. Read. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? So she went to the Most High said, if this is a blessing, why am I having such labor pains? Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. What is a nation? So a man, what, what is a nation? A nation is a race. It's telling you that two manner, two nations is in thy womb. Read. And two manner of people shall be separated. And two, wait a minute. Read that again. And two manner of people, two different kinds of people, right. read, shall be separated from thy bowels. Shall be separated from thy bowels, read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. We already know who that is. Right. We know who the strong person is, right. who rules the sports world, right. who rules all physical competitions. And in reality, a lot of the inventions that you think was made by the so-called white man proves how strong your brain is. That you compete in the same realm that they compete in. Right. You That's are not right. dumb. That's you are right. not uneducated. That's That's right. Right. You've been lied to your whole damn life. Read. And the elders shall serve the younger. At one point in time, the so-called white man was destined to be under us. So we lived deliciously under King David and under King Solomon as them being our subjects. That's right. right. But something happened. Read. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. So these is twins. They're not identical twins. They're fraternal twins. They look different, although they came out the same womb. Look it up. Google, you'll see when a black woman has two different races of babies, one looking white, the other one very dark. This is the biblical prophecy concerning all of that. That's right. And the first came out red all over. Oh, read that again. And the first came out red all over. Look at the red pimples on this uh, lady's face. The scriptures say that they are red from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. What do we call them down south? Concerning red. What did you say, sis? The reason why we call them red neck is because their whole body is red. That's right. Understand that. God called them rednecks first. So don't look at it as a racist term. It's not. This is the Bible. See, we're here for you. But understand, a lot of harsh words. So you didn't know your father or mother, right? But those who had a mother and father, when you put your hand on a hot pot, not only did you get burnt by the pot, but what happened to you? No, listen. Not only did you get burnt by the pot, what else happened to you? Your mother whooped your butt. Your father whooped your butt. Understand that. Did your father and mother beat you out of hatred? Sometimes it happened. Some mothers, some fathers might put cigarettes out on their kids because they're wicked in the mind. Right. But a, a, a mother and a, fa a father and a mother that love their kids, they beat you to save your life. That's, that's right. right. But you think it's harsh. You don't understand it until you get older and say, wow, now that I got children, 
I understand the mentality of my father and my mother. Read. All over, like a hairy garment. So who's this nation that's hairy? You take a Gillette razor away from the so-called white man, watch he become the monkey that he claims you to be. Right. And they called his name Esau. Esau. His name was called Esau. That's right. Eventually his name, because he sold his birthright to his brother Jacob, became known as Edom. Now, before we go into who Edom is today, we're going to find out the judgment of Edom first, then we're going to show you who they are today. Read Obadiah 1 and 18. Read up. Understand something, sis. What you got to understand is why he's getting that. I want to, wait a minute, listen. I want to show you something. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If I ask you how we get to Morovia, can you answer my question faster than my question? No, because exactly. I'm not from here, exactly. though, so how am I going to Okay, know? if I asked you, if I asked you, you're from here? Okay, let's exclude you because you're not from here and you're using that as an excuse. No, sir, you, all I do is have listen, to ask listen you up. Jesus is love. If I, you if I asked you, if I asked you, how do you get There's the robe no from here, can your answer be faster than my question? Not unless you know the route, Route 28, but not. No, Route 28, then what? Where do I turn? You'd have to tell me turn by turn direction. Your, an your, your answer would have to be longer. So we're on one topic first. Then we'll move on to another one. Because this is very important to us, to our people. If Jesus is love, why are you hating everybody? I'm just going to be honest. Like, this isn't we'll showing that. That's love. A good this is making people feel good. If Jesus is love. In a godly manner. Jesus tells us in the Bible to go to people one on one and in a small group, not to come out and start yelling things to people that hurt them. You're a damn devil. This, right. See, you right. preach and hate. You're preaching hate. Right. Jesus of the Bible. Read. For he shall save his people from their sins. Hold up. Your result of your slavery is because of your sins. This is why you went in slavery in the first place. Christ is the only one who can redeem you. Give me Luke 1 and 68. The right. result of your sins was your enslavement to your slave master. Let's find out what Jesus say versus this Jesus. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Bring it out. Bless me the Lord God of Israel. That's right. Read it again. Bless me the Lord God of Israel. Everybody. Israel. The so-called white man. Israel. Israel. Chinese. Israel. Israel. Japanese. Israel. Israel. Who are the Israelites of the Bible? You are. Christ only came for your people. Read. For he have visited everything. His people. He came to revisit and redeem only his people. Read. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophet. Because the New Testament and the Old Testament says the same thing. Every prophet of the old times spoke about a redeemer, which is Christ in the New Testament. Read. Which have been since the world began, that we should. Excuse me, that we should be saved. Who's we? Who's we? The Israelites. Joshua 6. Who's we? Israelites. Who's we? Israelites. That we, excuse me, that we should be saved from our enemies. We have to be saved from our enemies. Why do we have enemies? Because the Bible, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68 again. You wouldn't slavery to your, your enemies because of your wickedness. Christ is sent to redeem his people from their sins, from their enslavement. Understand right. that. Right. Read. 
and from the hands of all that hate us. Why does Christ have to deliver his people from the hands of all those that hate us? Matthew 15 and 24. You got Revelation 2 and 26. Just read it. Come on. Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end. Read it. The laws, statutes, and commandments. This is the last book of the Bible. It's the book of Revelation. It's the revealing of Christ. He's telling you, you who keep the commandments until the end. Read. Right. To him will I give power over the nations. This was the blessing. This was the promises of the Bible that if the Israelites would keep the commandments of God, they would rule all the nations. That's but, right. but, if you chose to slip up, and you go get that girl pregnant when your father and mother told you not to, you're going into slave. Can I read something? Please? No, you can't. Wait till this is done. Read. <laughs> and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Who is we going to rule with a rod of iron? Why is this still talking about? You didn't know enslavement was in the Bible, did you? You didn't know that your blessing would be to rule the nations. You didn't know that? Now you know it. Did you know that you would go into slavery? under all these nations because of your sins, now you know it. Matthew 15 and 24. Here we go. This is what we're going to do. It's like if we was Van Helsing and everybody else that was gainsaying against the Bible, we snuck into that coffin with a stake and we put a nail in it. Read. Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. These, are, Christ, these are Christ's words. Right. Read. But he answered and said. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need Joshua 6. When the brothers say it, y'all say it. Read. But he answered and said. But he answered and said. I am not sent. I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep. But unto the lost sheep. Of the house of Israel. Of the house of Israel. If this was the Grammys. We would drop the mic. Right, right. Read that again. Right. But he answered and said. But, but he answered, answered and said. I am not sent. I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep. But unto the lost sheep. Of the house of Israel. Of the house of Israel. Do we really need to go on any further? Because we're going to tell you Christ is love. John 14 and 15. Read up. This is the love of God. It's the same love of Christ. John. Chapter 14, verse 15. Bring it up. If you love me, you love Christ. Read. Keep my commandment. What please commandments tell me, are you please keeping? Please tell me, that, please tell me. Love what thy neighbor as yourself. That's it. Is the first one. See, and the second one. Do you know what you're talking to? You don't even want to hear my answer because we're going to go funny. to the scripture for you. Oh, Luke 19. She said she had a good point. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay. That's a good point. Jesus has a good point. I don't have a okay, good point. A good the Bible has a good point. Leviticus chapter 19. Show sister where it came from. Verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Who's your neighbor? Everyone. Everybody? What did the Bible say? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. So the topic is your brother. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. What does rebuke mean? Anybody know? Re rebuke means to correct, correct you. Correct. Rebuke means to show you what you're doing wrong when you don't know what you're doing is wrong. Not Read. And not suffer sin upon him. So you have to not hate your brother, rebuke him, and not suffer sin upon him. Let's find out who your brother is according to the Bible, not according to Christianity, white supremacy. There's a difference between the Bible and this doctrine. That's it's lies. Read. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. That's who your brothers is, right. your That's sisters right. is. That's why we're so animate to save your life. We must rebuke you and tell you what you're doing wrong. We're not out here for no other nation. God is going to handle them. That's why we're not out here for any wars. Because our wars is not carnal. Our weapons is not carnal. We preach this word and the most high is going to bring down these nations. That's right. All we got to do is compel you to come in to the supper. Where you at? But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That's your neighbor, your own kind. To love thy neighbor as thyself. See, what you got to understand is you got all of these people. Give me a... Give me a... Peter, 2 Peter 3 and 16. What you got to understand is this. 
A lot of the confusion that comes in the Bible is based off of Paul's letters because she was going to go to Ephesians. You don't even know who the Ephesians are. The Ephesians are Israelites. The Romans that Paul was speaking to were Israelites. Right. The Galatians were Israelites. The Corinthians is Israelites. They're not so-called whites, Chinese, Japanese, nobody. They are you. Because if you was to convert back to these law statutes and commandments, you would be a proselyte, a religious convert back to your tradition, heritage. We know this Bible. Right. You don't understand. Right. We study this Bible That's day right. and night. Right. You do not. Because if you did, you wouldn't be joined with another nation. That's right. right. This is my question. You say that Black Lives Matter. First, we're going to hand it. Second Peter, you check the 3, verse matter. 16. I said, if you thought Black Lives actually matter, you would be for your people. Read. Well, I am As also people. in all his epistles, be quiet, sis, speaking sis, sis, in sis. them of these things, and which are some things hard to be understood. This is Peter, the disciple Peter. We're saying that. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, we're not going to jump too far ahead. This is the Apostle Peter speaking of the letters of Paul. Read it again. As also in all his epistles. Epistle means letters. Read. Speaking to them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. I want you to jump a verse up. Verse 15. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our Lord beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you. So I was talking about the letters that Paul wrote to all of the various churches of the Israelites scattered all, out all of the lands. Read. As also in all his epistles. In his epistles. Speaking in them of these things. Of the salvation of his nation. Read. In which are some things. Hard to be understood. Some of these things that you're reading in the Bible is hard to be understood. But why? Why is it so hard? It's so hard to the point that you confuse the things that you read and you'll think it's saying something else. But we'll read it crystal clear out of the Bible. Some of these things are hard to be understood to a specific type of people. Watch, listen, listen, don't have too many questions. Because the Bible, if you really read the Bible, the Bible says that a woman should keep silent in the church. And the book of Ephesians, quiet. do not pull up the letter you just forgot to put a point, As sir. they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. The Bible said that you're going to confuse a lot of the things that's in, your, in the Bible. And it's going to be to your own destruction. Read it again. Read it again. Come on. As, as they do, excuse me. Which they that are unlearned. I want you to read it again. Back as also in the his epistles, speaking in them of these things. What is these things? The salvation. Christ delivering his people. Read. And which are some things that are hard to be understood. Which they that are unlearned. So those of us that are unlearned. It's going to be hard to understand the writings of Paul. Read. And unstable. And you're unstable. I read the Bible. But sister, are you married? How old are you? 21. You're 21. Are you, you're not married. Do you have a boyfriend? Are you a virgin? No. I've sinned exactly. all. I've sinned Here's so much before the Jesus. The Bible said, okay, so why aren't you married? Why? Well, I'm not married. Because, because it said, let, every young, let the young women marry and have children. Read. Because God called to be a missionary As they do also years, the other scriptures. As you do also the other scriptures. Read. Unto their own destruction. Unto your own destruction. What you got to understand is you're destroying yourself because you're being taught by the, de the very damn devils that brought you into slavery in the first place. Right. That's, That's right. right. You're combative against your brothers. But when did you question the devil? I'm, I'm you ain't never people. questioned the devil. You don't even get know me. me. Get me you're Romans literally talking out of it. You don't know no. Let you me know show you something. What's the, the Great Romans. Commission? The What's the Great Romans. Commission, sir? What's man. the Great Commission? I don't know what you're talking about. What? Oh, it's in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, sir. On. Let's see. Romans you don't know what you're talking about. You can pull scripture out of context on the table. When Paul's talking, when Paul's talking, right? And he's in the book of Romans. Who is he speaking to? Go ahead and tell me because you're trying to tell me everything else. His people. That's out See, of context See, you assume that he's speaking to Esau, right? He's not. He's speaking to his people. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. This is, this is the problem. This is the problem. All the horse women, all of the sinning men, they always try to tell. Don't argue. When did you argue with the white man? 
about I teaching do. you how to look like the white woman. That's when did right. you argue with him? Never. You kept your mouth shut. When did he tell you? Why did you argue with him when he told you you're allowed to have an uh, open relationship? When did you? Uh, why did you argue with him? Understand something. If you loved yourself, you wouldn't dress the way you dress. Right. Because you know what? The Bible says you're dressing like a whore. That's right. You're dressing like a whore. Read Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. Be quiet. I'm talking to you. I so like we, not. we can go back and forth, sister, because you're my sister. So it doesn't matter. Read. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience. Paul saying he saved the truth in Christ. He lies not. Brother, brother, you come in. Let me, let me talk to you real fast. As a man, as a man, you are to be the leader of your nation. You're to read your... See, that's the problem. This is who you follow. The emotional murderers. Because that's, that's what happens. They're so emotional that they fed your baby as gator bait. Yes, they did. They cut your bodies open and made change persons out of it. That's where that came from. Right. Don't, don't fall for that. Don't fall for that crap. But back to you, brother. Listen. Your job is to listen. It's their job to repent. But you as the leader, you stand in a different position than a woman. Don't sidebar conversations. Come over here and listen. Oh, that's my brother. We're that, the but we, what we're saying it to me and this brother, okay. us, these brothers to this brother. I know, I know what I'm saying. You stay here and be patient, be quiet, learn. That way she don't talk as much. So she can learn because the more you talk into one another, you're going to miss a very valid well, I know since, since the Bible is coming out. No, nah, what I'm saying I is understand. I have questions and you're not really allowing one to ask the question. Yeah. And the one question I You know really what? I'm going to gonna entertain ask, your question. I couldn't ask. Go ahead. I'm going to entertain your question, then I'm going to go back to the point. Well, it's not entertainment. I'm trying to get an understanding. You're right. I'm sorry. So come on. Come on, sis. Go ahead. Correct with my, with my Okay. Wife. That's right. I understand. All Christ. That's right. So this is where this is going to. Mm -hmm. I'm a person that wants to get right with Christ. When I read the Bible, because you say I don't, I do. When I read the Bible, it's not that I don't understand. I don't understand everything I read because of the stuff that you said we were not to about. Some so I understand what, you, what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is the things that I was reading in the Bible kind of felt like it was hypocritical. It didn't make sense with what I was seeing and what I was visualizing in my mind at the same damn time. You understand what I'm saying? Like, what? So, like the way that they describe God. I knew he wasn't uh, white. Okay. I knew he was a black man, mm -hmm. the way they described it. Just like I knew back uh, uh, about slavery. But my thing is, what I'm confused on is you say Israel united in Christ, but Christ and Christianity is Christ and Christianity. Two did we, different did things. we just teach that? We spent at least 20 minutes on I that. I understand that. Christianity, you ask the question is Christianity this, that, and other? Is it the Bible? Christianity is white supremacy, sis. Right, but it seems like it's more hypocritical for a person yes, like it me is. that's black yes, that wants to be right. You're right, it's hypocritical to you because it benefits their people. It teaches you, little sister, who's this guy? You don't know? Hey, little brother. Yeah, but this is little man, who's this? Oh, oh, He's watch, not stop the fight. Christ -like. I mean, you don't know what living Christ like means. Yeah, living Christ like right means now? following the commandments. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're not listening to what we're saying at all. You're you fearing God's judgment against you is the message of you, you, know, you knowing how smart you really are. Always be humble. And, and good understanding <laughs> have all they that do his commandment. The reason why you don't have a, a good understanding of the Bible is because you're not doing his commandments, sis. Okay. Okay? Y'all gotta find out what it means to be in sin. What is sin? We read it, we read it already. What is it? So why isn't this for everything? But can I clarify something? I don't even draw you straight. Let's 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 let I'm gonna entertain these people's question real quick. Why isn't it for everybody? Give me Deuteronomy seven and six. That way, you don't you don't think it's my word? It's gonna come out of God's word, His mouth. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. For thou art an holy people. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So there's a certain people that 
considered special. He said God. that for All right. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's why you ain't learned nothing because you talk too much. You ask the question. Yeah, and we're not answer. listening to what we're saying. This is at why all. we don't want to entertain them. This is what the devil is. The devil comes and try to take the word of God away from you. You don't like what I'm but saying. You're not even Go down the street. To what? We ain't here to converse back and forth with you. Read. The Lord did not set his love upon you. God set his love what upon race? somebody. Which are the Israelites? Because I don't think race matters. You, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. For ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn to your father. Hold on. Who was the covenants given to? Who were the covenants, the oath that God swore unto your fathers? Who were they? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Now, we're going to say, give me Jeremiah 31 and 31. Okay, this is 31 and 31. Because a lot of people, they'll say, oh, that's the Old Testament. We, we don't, we're we're going to go with the New Testament. You don't read. Okay? So let's find out the prophecy of the Old Testament first. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant. Uh oh the New Testament. Read. With the house of Israel. With all people. The house of Israel. This is the Old Testament. Read. And with the house of Judah. Now, I'm going to pose a question to the intelligent ladies out here. Did that change come to the New Testament? It did? So who's Judah? Who's Israel? If it didn't change, the most important thing would be, well, who are they that the that covenant? Doesn't in? Jesus say there's no, I didn't no difference that. between First, Jews and Gentiles? Question, who is Judah? Because you don't know what you're talking about. The Can you read? Can you please give me, read? Give me second. I mean, give me a 16. first Maccabees. Matthew 20, second Maccabees 16 6, through 20. If you're going to read the Bible, read other you're verses too. Other people are saying, but you're not gonna if listen. you care about my you're salvation as a sister, you should be up in there trying to answer my damn questions. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord. Finding fault, how? How did he find fault with your Israelites? Because Jesus you were sacrificing animals, but you were still wicked as hell in sin. Read. The days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. Here's the new covenant, and who's it going to be with? Look at this. This wicked. Get them on camera. They cried the drop of a dime like you love us. Get the hell out of here, you damn wilder beast. You're using hatred! You hated us your whole life. Excuse me, that's who you follow after. That's who you follow after. This is, a person is so emotional like that will cut your damn throat. Out of emotion. That's how you went into slavery in the first place. And they didn't regard old or young. You should stick around without the uh, confusion of those, those wildebeests. Read. When I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. So the Old Testament lines up with the New Testament. The, the covenant would only be given to the house of Israel. Now let's find out how we became Gentiles. Because America followed after their forefathers who were the Greeks. Read. Listen up. This is how you became a Gentile. Second Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days. Hey, today's the Sabbath day. Do you honor it? What do you I'm do not, to I'm honor the Sabbath? Working. I'm not working. Today's my day of rest. It's the day of your day of rest. Today's my day of rest. Keep it holy, right? Are you cooking, buying, selling? I'm buying, but I'm not You're cooking. not keeping it holy, sis. Great. You can't say, I don't smoke crack. I smoke Bop box or what is the other word? I put cracking blunts. Lace. Lace. I don't. I don't. I don't listen. I don't do crack. I snort cocaine. You're a drug user. There's no way of making that holy. Right. If you violate in one part, you violate in all. Christ said, if you're guilty of violating the least of the commandments, you're guilty of breaking them all. So understand that. Read. Come on. ancient feasts. So you weren't allowed to keep your holy days. Your holidays, you know what happened? They replaced your God-given holidays with the white man's holidays. Right. Fourth of July, who out here celebrated that? Oh, you're a crier too? Yeah, because this isn't God's love. Who God out here um, celebrated so Fourth of July? So do you celebrate so Thanksgiving? I do. You're right. I'm, you're a fool I'm a fool. I'm the devil. It's fine. The slaughter.
water. But I am redeemed in Christ. Am I not redeemed in Christ? No. Am I not redeemed in Christ? Why? You're not Why? following none of the commandments, read. Or to profess at himself. Listen up. Listen up. Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So you wasn't even allowed to say what your nationality was. Right. This is the beginning of white supremacy right here under the Greeks. Right. You wasn't allowed to keep your holidays. They replaced them with their holidays. That's why 4th of July is such a big thing. It's fireworks. It's the day that America won independence. But where were you at? Where was your people at? Your brother got it. You was a slave. Come on, read. And in the day of the king's birth, every month, they were brought by bitter constraint. Listen, the most... The, the, the so-called white man, listen up, sis. The so-called white man destroyed God's holidays and replaced them with his own holidays. This is where birthdays, listen, this is where birthdays come from. This is where birthdays come from. Read it again. And in the day of the king's birth. So the rulers, every, we were forced to celebrate the day of their birth. Read it. Every month, they they were brought by bitter constraint to eat of the sacrifices. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus carrying ivy. This is the same thing with 4th of July. Every year that they celebrated 4th of July, the slaves was given some type of leniency. You better get down here and have water and eat. A watermelon eating contests and entertain us. Right. That's what happened to you. Right. You was brought by bitter constraint to entertain your enemy. Read. Right. Moreover, there went out a decree. A decree is a law. Listen. To the neighbor cities of the heathen. So all of the United Nations, all of the nations that was in cahoots with America at the time when they were the Greeks, the so-called white man. Read. By the suggestion of Ptolemy, against the Jews. Against who? The Jews. You are the Jews. Read. That they should observe the same fashion and be partakers of their sacrifice. So you were forced to observe their fashions. Guess what their fashions were? They dressed the men up as women, and they dressed the women up as men. Understand, when a little girl got pants on, she's dressed like a a sin. When a young man or a, a man in general is wearing rolls, panties, lipstick, dresses, skirts, they try to make a cool young man, right? They try to make it where uh, Kanye West having a dress on is okay. You think that's okay? But the way that they'll make it seem okay is they'll put it on the people that you look up to to make you a homosexual. Understand that, read. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles. So whoever did not bow down to their ways, read, should be put to death. Guess what you were done? What would happen to you if you didn't worship this image? You think it's your own opinion. You think that everything that's in your mind right now is something that you came up with. But guess where it came from? It was shaped and molded. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and TV. Can I ask y'all we were so damn blind to this? Because it got me angry. Right. How's we so blind? Yeah. I'm going to show you how we're so blind. Because we have always been rebellious, and we're rebellious now. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. This, this should put an end to it. If you really want to know, that means you really want to change. Yeah, right? really Get the camera on that system. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Okay, so if you look back on them people back in the day, is how was they so foolish and stupid? You got to look at yourself right now yeah. today. Now read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. An abomination is... Let's all throw up in the bucket, and then we're going to fill some cups up, and we're going to toast to it. Is you going to drink that stuff that came out of the bucket? So what is you going to do based off of that law right there? I got to change. Change how, though? Everything. Nope. See, that's not good enough. If I'm a crack fiend, and I say, and we're talking about the laws of the Bible concerning crack, 
Then I say I gotta change. What must I change? The way I dress. You gotta change your mind. So you're absolutely right. But you, you looking back on the people in the past saying how crazy are they? You gotta look at yourself because the same law applies to you today. So you should never be seen in a pair of pants. I was so, I was, you are so. Not I mean, we were so. I'm talking about as far as our. Uh, listen, you can, we raised. you can change it now because guess how we were raised? We're, is, who, which one of you brothers is from the moon? A anybody from the ocean? So we were raised where you were raised. Where you from? We come from the same community. Right. Nine times, I mean, we're all, all of us out here are related. Understand that. Right. That's why it's an abomination that we kill one another so fast. Right. It's an abomination why you out here fighting one another so fast. When you in the Moroville Mall, you shooting people and a hundred people are fighting one another. Are you on the north side and the whole damn project come out to beat one little girl up? Right. Understand that. Where did I tell you go? Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Look at you now. You are so. We are so. Foolish. That's my man. Up Read. Here. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Come on. Man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Everybody out here, every woman out here, if you're not, uh, what is that? If you're not, uh, what is that, like overly damn sexual, if you're not a sexual deviant, you're going to disagree with the man in the dress. If you're not overly sexual deviant, you're going to disagree with two women in the same being. Because, give me Romans 6 and 23. The reason why we're out here, because it's very important to teach our people to, to prevent them from getting death. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Your payment for your violation of the laws contained in this Bible is death. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.